Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today I want to share with you our quick Sunday afternoon cleaning routine. It only takes about an hour and the whole family just jumps in and knocks out some major housework. So we usually start with the girls and I unloading the dishwasher and putting away laundry while my husband vacuums and then he goes in and does the dishes or puts them in the dishwasher while we go and clean the bathroom. I like to give each of my girls a specific task because it just makes it easier for them to know what to do. And it also helps them to master a specific um, skill. Here I just fill the bathtub with hot water and throw in some cleaner and my three-year-old will mop the bathtub. It may seem silly but she really likes it and if you do it as an adult it really saves your back. Uh, instead of getting down on your hands and knees and trying to scrub the bathtub, it saves your back so much. Um, and then I will put some Windex on the mirror and my four-year-old will climb up, uh, five-year-old actually, will climb up on the sink and wipe the mirrors down. And then she will clean the toilets out as well. I usually do go back behind each of them just to make sure that... Um, stuff is done yeah see she does a pretty good job I'm actually really proud of how well she does there's usually just a few streaks but for a five-year-old she does a good job the other thing that I do um, I'll come in here and wipe down the sink and mirrors and toilet in that bathroom I think it's so good that kids help out around the house from a very early age even when they're babies, uh, when they first start to walk, you can have them throw away their diapers. You can hand them small things um, as you're loading clothes from the washer into the dryer. They like to throw a sock or maybe one of their shirts in, something small, but they really like to help. Um, one thing I'm doing with my one-year-old now is I'll pull in a stool for her to stand on, a really sturdy one and I'll just give her spoons to put into the drawer. She doesn't put them in the room. She can't even see inside the drawer actually, but she'll put them in the drawer um, and I'll go back and fix them later. But I've done that with all my kids. As Usually after she's done, I'll go back and um, just double check and make sure, especially in the, uh, the tub, there's certain parts that get really bad, so not really bad, but like the sides collect more soap scum and all that, so I'll just get it really good and then spray it down with the hot water, maybe a detachable shower head. So this is their art collection. They love to draw and love to color, but they have so much stuff and it piles up and I finally just said, you have to do something with this. Keep some of it, but not all of it. And so they cleaned it up. Lydia loves to cut things out. She loves to color and she likes to collect things. It's probably my fault. I was really bad about bringing stuff home for the longest time. And then finally I just got overwhelmed and I said no more. I don't think she's had that life, that life transformation moment yet. So one other thing that I like to do on Sunday is replace all the towels and washcloths. I will put them all in the dirty clothes to be washed and then put new ones out. Um, except for the girls, they actually use the same towel all the time. No, ma'am. 
They actually use, the girls actually use the same towels, so I just wash them once a week and then they go back out. So those will be put out tomorrow, which doesn't matter because they're not gonna take a bath tonight, but um, that's just something that works really good for us. So the bathrooms are done, um, and the biggest thing right now is just getting all the stuff off the hard floors so I can sweep and mop. Um, I can't do it with everything, like the trash can and the table, the dining chairs and all that, but for the most part, for the most part, everything gets put back where it goes and all the chairs and toys and baskets um, go on the carpet so I can knock all this out. To do the entire house, sweeping and mopping usually takes about 30 minutes. Um, I don't stress over it, I just try to knock it out because I don't wanna spend all day mopping. Um, some of the doors actually have some fingerprints on them. I don't know what that's about, but I'm gonna go over some of the doors and the, um, the door frames and the baseboards um, give them a little TLC because it's been a while since they've seen any action. So. so, quick sweeping motivation video. My camera died on this day, and so I just um, I gave up about recording anything else and mopping and all that. But I did mop, and uh, yeah, it uh, the floor just felt it just feels so different when you mop and sweep. I love having a clean floor. I have such sensitive feet. Like if I step on crumbs, it freaks me out. It's probably an OCD thing, but um, I, I like clean floors. Anyway, that's all that happened on that day. Thank you for watching.